Hey guys, it's Janice. It's been a while. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing six apps, websites, and extensions for students. All of these are free to download and use, so let's get started. This video is sponsored by Grammarly. The first one is RowFocus, which is a Chrome extension that offers a huge and completely free selection of ambient noises. You can activate it when you're doing research, typing up papers, school notes, or just have it running in the background when you're studying at your desk. The reason why I like this one so much is because the sounds are actually quite natural and not too in your face. For instance, the wind and rain actually sound believable and they're not just some aggressive and disturbing noises, which I find is the case with a lot of ambient noise platforms. RowFocus also has a focus timer built into it so you can sync your sounds to start and stop with the timer. When you have the timer on, there is a little icon in your Chrome toolbar that shows a little brain and the timer countdown. Another neat thing they include is a section that explains why ambient noise is beneficial with links to research studies if you're interested. So all the more reason to download it. Next is Blush. This resource offers tons of free and customizable illustrations that you can use in your own projects, especially presentations for school. We know how boring some PowerPoint themes are and the more engaging your presentation is, the better. They have a lot of templates you can start out with from different artists, so pick the one you like the most and start customizing with that. You can mix and match outfits, customize objects, hair, accessories, backgrounds, and when you're done, you download the free PNG file and just simply place it into your presentations, pamphlets, etc. You don't need to sign up to use it and you don't need to attribute the artwork to anyone either, so it's all free for personal and commercial use. So definitely give this a try to spice up your school projects and make them more unique and fun. The next app is Grammarly, which is an all-in-one writing tool that can help you save time with writing assignments, especially when you need to study for upcoming midterms and exams. It's free to download and you can easily integrate it into your workflow, whether you prefer Google Docs, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc. There is a free version with basic grammar and spelling suggestions, but upgrading to Grammarly Premium will provide you with so many more advanced features to help you feel more confident about your writing. Some great ways you can save time with Grammarly aside from grammar and spelling suggestions is by using its free synonym feature to find new words on the page instead of having to use multiple websites. Super handy for not only enhancing your writing, but also expanding your vocabulary. And when you find yourself rambling or writing sentences that are hard to read, Grammarly Premium's Clarity Full Sentence Rewrite feature can fix that for you. You can also double check that your work is original by using Grammarly Premium's Plagiarism Detector, which checks your writing across 16 billion other web pages. This writing tool has been so convenient when it comes to writing not only papers, but also emails when I'm on a time crunch, so I can make sure I still sound professional and clear without having to spend so much time drafting up my words. So with midterms and assignments piling up, succeed in school with tools like Grammarly. It's free, why not? Go to grammarly.com slash studies to sign up for a free account and if you'd like to get extra features upgrade to grammarly premium for 20 percent off to help you save time and work more efficiently next up is canva where do i even start with canva it's an amazing platform with a lot of free templates for pretty much everything students can make use of so many things on here including pre-made presentation templates and there is a huge variety so you can make creative and fun presentations or stick to the clean and professional look. Aside from putting in your own content, you can change the fonts of everything, and there are so many fonts to choose from that sometimes I just spend half an hour deciding on which one I wanna use. Not only that, but they also have an endless selection of graphics you can insert into your projects, which you can narrow down just by searching. So in this example, I simply typed in the word medical and got all these health-related graphics. Just click on one and it'll appear on your template for you to customize. Other useful templates for students are pamphlets, posters, and also resumes. To sum it up, you really do need to visit Canva to appreciate the extent of it, so all I can say is have fun with it. Next up is Untools. So this is more of a resource than anything. If you're a student who needs to do a lot of problem solving and decision making in your coursework, you might value some tools that can help you look at problems from different angles and solve them using different methods. So Untools lists out a bunch of different systems and frameworks you can use to tackle problems. When you click into one, it explains it in detail and guides you through how to use that particular method. I was thinking, wow, this could be so useful for brainstorming for argumentative papers, class debates, and in my experience, it would have been so useful for a lot of nursing scenarios that we had to work through in school. So students, definitely give this website a closer look because almost all of your coursework will involve some type of problem solving and you might gain some valuable insight out of this resource. 
Last but not least is a very simple Chrome extension that changes the new tab page to show some motivating illustrations and concepts. Every time you open a new tab, you'll be served a reminder that will center you if you're feeling a bit distracted. In my experience, I actually did find many of these quite insightful and I felt the need to be productive after seeing some of these. For instance, my favorite one is the scale where it says, the more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. I'm sure I haven't even flipped through all of them despite opening so many new tabs. So if you need some motivation, then I think this extension will give you a nice push. So that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.